What's going on Muscle Monsters, Align Gonzalez here and in this video I'm going to show you how to gain weight. If you're a naturally skinny guy who struggles with gaining weight then this video is for you. All right. Even if you are maybe just a beginner who's getting into weight training and you want to ensure that you're eating enough in order to build muscle, this will help you out as well. So let's jump right in. The first thing we need to figure out is how many calories we need to consume in order to reach a caloric surplus. And the surplus is necessary for ensuring that we are building muscle maximally. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is take our body weight in pounds and multiply that by 16. The number you get is going to be a starting point. Okay, that's the amount of calories that you are going to consume on a daily basis. All right, where does that 16 come from? Very simple. Resting metabolic rate accounts for 11 calories per pound of body weight per day. All right. TEA, which is the thermic effect of activity, accounts for about 30 to 50% of the energy that we use, right? So this is, you know, exercising, obviously you're going to be working out, maybe playing sports, things of that nature. And then we have the thermic effect of food, okay? These are the calories that our body uses for absorption, digestion, things of that nature whenever we consume food. All right, and that accounts for about 10% of those calories. All right, so if we're eating 2,000 calories, for example, uh, the thermic effect of food will account for about 200 calories. All right, now, neat. The reason there's question marks there is because this is the one factor that differs the most from individual to individual. Okay, for resting metabolic rate, it's usually roughly the same for most males, same with thermic effect of activity and thermic effect of food. The big difference is in non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is where we're thrashing around in bed, walking to and from our car, um, fidgeting, brushing our teeth, and so forth. Okay? And so, now that you understand why we're starting with 16, understand that because neat, right? We don't know exactly where it's at. You could be a neat freak, right? Somebody who's naturally skinny, finds it hard to gain weight. You eat a bunch of food, can't gain weight because your need is high. You may need more, but then this is where you're going to figure this out. Okay. You are going to track your weigh-ins daily. Now, first, before I give you this very simple formula that you have to use, okay, Let's talk about why you don't want to weigh yourself just once a week. Most people, they'll step on the scale Monday, they'll weigh 146 pounds, and then the following Monday, they'll weigh themselves and they'll weigh 142 pounds, and they'll say, shit, I'm not gaining any weight, I'm not making any gains. The problem with this is that our weight fluctuates from day to day, right? So depending on how much water you drank, when your last meal was, sodium, sleep, stress, this number will fluctuate. And so it's not a good idea to track once a week because you're not going to get an accurate indication of whether or not you are in a surplus at maintenance or even at a deficit, right? So this same person might think, yes, I'm in a deficit and they'll continue on these calories. And then what will happen? Their average weight is actually going up. They're in a surplus. And so the following Monday, they'll weigh even more and they'll be confused, right? And so here's what you got to do in order to avoid that. You want to weigh yourself in the morning under the same circumstances. And if you fail to, and say, for example, you have some water before your weigh-in or you eat your first meal because you forgot to weigh in, just mark that off. Don't even, um, don't even plug that in because it's going to throw all your numbers off, okay? Rather, just not available. That's it. Okay, so what I want you to do is weigh yourself every morning, and at the end of the week, I want you to get an average. Okay, do that for the following week, and again, get that average and compare. In this uh, example right here, this person increased their weight by 0 0.8 pounds, close to a pound in a week. That would be good progress, right? So you know, okay, I'm in a caloric surplus. And so you can stay 
on the same amount of calories and continue to track your weight. When that average stalls, then and only then you'll increase your calories and repeat this process. You can do this or you should be doing this as long as you are in your lean mass phase, as long as you are bulking, as long as your goal is to gain weight, you should be tracking your average weight for every single week. Okay, this is going to ensure that when you do hit a wall, because you will, that you can make a quick adjustment, get back on track and continue gaining weight, building muscle. So that's pretty much it guys. Body weight in pounds times 16, start there. Make sure, all right, and I should have mentioned this earlier, you are aiming to get at least one gram per pound of body weight. Now the carbs and the fats, when you're eating this many calories, those will fall into place. You'll be fine there. Don't fret over whether or not you're getting enough fats or carbs. It's not gonna be an issue when you're eating this much. The only thing I would consider is that you make sure that you're getting enough protein, maybe 20 to 30 grams per meal um, to ensure you hit that one gram per pound of body weight. Okay, so you're eating this much, making sure you're getting that one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you're tracking your progress. Whenever you stall out, increase the calories, perhaps um, by about 100, 200, depending on exactly where you're at. Right? It may differ if you're in a deficit, you might want to increase by 500. If you're at maintenance, maybe 250. Maybe if you gained weight but not as much as you wanted, maybe 100 or 200. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, click the like button below. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you haven't already and you want a training program that goes along with this, then grab Mass in a Flash completely free. Link below. Go there. Put your name and your email address. You'll get instant access. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.